Hi there, my name is Richard Petrie. I uh, work with a lot of top professional sports people, a lot of top business people, and I want to cover something today which is going to, it's an amazing um, little concept, little understand that's going to help anyone achieve their goals a hell of a lot faster. So I just want you to think, has there ever been a time maybe you've set um, New Year's Eve goals, resolutions, and you decide you were going to achieve this goal, and you found a month later you hadn't done anything for it? Or maybe you tried to get, lose some weight. A lot of people tried to do that and you started on a course trying to do it and you found you couldn't do it. Maybe you're going to try and get fit. Maybe you're going to try and make more money, something like that. So you, you have a goal and then it's almost like your habits or your old um, ways of thinking have stopped you achieving it. So what I'm going to show you very quickly is why that happens and what you can do about it. And this will make a, a massive difference in helping you achieve and get what you want to do. Okay, first off... We just need to take this look at this whiteboard and I'm just going to take the lid off here and I want you to imagine that your mind is like an iceberg and there's the water and imagine yourself it's almost like uh, let's say you set a goal to lose some weight and it's like you're sitting on a top of iceberg with a paddle in the water and here's your goal over here and you're trying to move in this direction in that way but I want you to imagine what happens when you try and, let's say, lose weight. What happens if the current is drifting this way? Okay, now chances are, you're in, you know, ultimately, you're going to move away from your target. Right? So, so what's going on? I mean, what's this analogy and how does it, how does it help us understand uh, trying to achieve goals? Well, I just want you to look at, there's two parts of this iceberg here. There's the top bit up here. And... Just want you to imagine this is like your conscious mind, okay? And then down below, it's like your subconscious. And we all know we've got a conscious mind and a subconscious mind, but most people aren't particularly familiar with this part down below the waterline. We're all pretty well aware of this and how that operates, and most people try and convince themselves to achieve goals by using logic and reason. But... We're not particularly well trained at how to influence this part of the brain. And the problem is if this part's not going in line with, with where you want to go, you might take a few paddle strokes in this direction, but ultimately you're going to end up going this way. So the question is how do you communicate with the subconscious part of the mind down here? How do we get the arrows turning around and going back the other direction? Well, the secret is the two, these two parts of the brain speak a different language. And as I, as I said up here, this part understands logic and reason, but unfortunately if you try and speak logic and reason to this part of the brain, it won't understand. It's like speaking to a Frenchman in English. He won't understand and he'll carry on going in the same direction he's always doing. The secret to communicating with this part of the brain is to speak the language it understands. and it, it works on images and emotions. So there's an impact. These images have an effect on emotions, and emotions have an effect on the images. So sometimes if you've ever seen a scary movie and, and got scared, even though you know they're just pretending, it's, it's not real, it's just pretending, then you'll still end up getting scared. And you might you know, decide to turn the TV off for 10 minutes or go make a cup of tea because you're being scared, even though logically you know they're all, logically you know they're just pretending. Because this part of the brain does not understand the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So it will, it will react as if it's really happening. Now the secret to communicating with this part of the brain is through images. Emotional images, and if you put the right emotional images in, it doesn't matter about so much about the logic, but if you put, plant in, let's say this is, this is us creating some images here, if you slot in the right emotional images, then you can start to redirect this part of the brain in any direction you want to. And the secret is, I mean, that's why visualization works so well. It's why meditation can work well. But if you're slotting in pictures here into this part of the brain, it'll start to reshape this and move it in any direction you want to go. Now, the problem is, most people aren't particularly good at visualization. And that's why it's really handy if you can have, have a tool that'll help you make it easy for you. And that's where I've come across this tool called Prime Aspirations or primeaspirations.com. And it's a, it's a piece of software that Paul Rodden set up. And it's phenomenal in terms of helping you create pictures for yourself 
that'll start moving your subconscious back in the other direction. Whichever direction you want to go. So I really recommend check it out. Get into it. Start playing with it. And if you start to notice that your brain starts realigning in any direction you want to go, then it's because this, this factor about you communicating with this part of the brain using the right language, images and emotions.